Hi friends and welcome to this video on articles. Now articles as you know are a and and the. Now many English language learners make a mistake with articles and it is very important to use them correctly. So let's understand how to use them correctly. Now the first thing which we need to remember is that a and an are called indefinite articles while the is called a definite article. Let's understand how. So a and an are called indefinite articles because they are not specific. Let's look at the first example. We are going to a restaurant. Now which restaurant? It is not very clear, it is not very specific. Any restaurant. Hence it is indefinite. Second one, I want to have an ice cream. Which ice cream? Not very specific, any ice cream. Hence it is indefinite. That is the reason a and an are called indefinite articles. As far as the is concerned, it is called a definite article because it refers to something specific. Number one, we are going to the restaurant on the first floor. Now which restaurant? The restaurant on the first floor. Not the second floor, not the third floor, but the one on the first floor. So this is very specific, hence we use the. Can you give me the pen which I gave you yesterday? Now which pen? The one which I gave you yesterday, very specific, hence the. So I hope it is clear from this slide friends that a and an are indefinite articles and the is called a definite article. Let's move on. So when do you use a? So a is used in front of singular countable nouns starting with consonants. Now I hope all of you know what are vowels and consonants. Vowels are a, e, i, o and u and consonants are the remaining 21 letters in the English language. Now it is very important to remember that it is used with singular countable nouns. <coughs> and if you remember, I had covered countable and uncountable nouns in, in the video on nouns. Right? So let's look at these words. A dog, a chair, a fan, a laptop, a guitar. Now if you look at these words, they start with D, C, F, L and G. Now these are all consonants. Hence, any word starting with consonants will start with a. Now a and an always mean one. So if this becomes a plural, let's say dog becomes a dogs or chair becomes a chairs, you will not use the article. Right? Let's move on. An is used in front of singular countable nouns starting with vowels. And vowels as I mentioned are the three letters a, e, i, o and u. Again, the thing to remember is that it is singular countable nouns. Let's look at these words. Apple, elephant, ice cream, owl, umbrella. So the letters are U, O, I, E and A. All these are vowels. So whenever a word starts with a vowel, you will use an. And once again, if this becomes a plural, for example, if an apple becomes apples, if elephant becomes elephants, you cannot use an article. Right? Because as I said, O and an mean only one. Let's move on. Use of the. As I said in the earlier slide, we use the when something is specific. We indicate which one we are talking about or it is clear from the context. Let's understand this better. I love pasta. Now you are referring to, now the pasta here is general. But if you say, I love the pasta in that restaurant, you are referring, referring to the pasta in a particular restaurant. Hence the. That store sells furniture. Now here again, you're being very general, right? But if you say the furniture in that shop is very expensive, you're referring to the particular furniture in that shop. Hence, you will use the out here. Vegetables are good for you. Now here we are referring to general vegetables. But if we say the vegetables in DMART are always fresh, we are referring to the specific vegetables in DMART. So I hope it is clear that the is very specific and that's why the is called definite. Now friends, these were the three rules which I just talked to you about. Singular countable nouns starting with consonants, singular countable nouns starting with vowels and the of course being definite. But there are some exceptions in the English language. Let's look at the first exception. The first exception is if the first letter in a word sounds like you, 
then the word will begin with a uh. now the important thing to remember uh, here friends is the sound of you and not the spelling of you let's look at these words a university a uniform a european a euro now all these words if you see they the initial sound is u right let me take another word with the letter u let's say umbrella now umbrella sounds like um not u but university sounds like u the initial sound is u and hence any word which sounds like u where the initial sound is that of u will start with a a uh. if you go by the rule which i told you earlier all these words should begin with an an right because all these words are beginning with vowels but here is the exception because they sound like u all these words will begin with an a uh. right so that is the first exception if the letter in a word sounds like u then the word will begin with a uh, and not an an let's move on when the first letter is silent if the first letter in a word is silent then we move to the second letter and apply the rule let's understand this better r now if you see h is silent in this you move to the second letter o which is a vowel and as per the rule it will be an r honest man h silent second letter is a vowel an honest man knife k silent n is a consonant a knife psychology professor p silent s is a consonant a psychology professor so this is the second exception which you need to remember let's move on now there are certain words where you don't use any articles no article is used for proper nouns official names of people places and organizations however there are some exceptions so let's understand i would like to visit russia now russia is a proper noun you never say i would like to visit the russia london is my favorite city you never say the london is my favorite city london is a proper noun but there are some exceptions as i said the united states the united kingdom the czech republic now these are exceptions because their name itself begins with the companies and universities my uncle works my uncle works with samsung not the samsung new york university is very large you never say the new york university is very large but what are the exceptions now if the university name begins with university then we have to use the for example the university of miami the university of yorkshire so these are some of the exceptions where you will have to use the although it is the name of a university languages holidays months and days my cousin is learning italian not the italian my family gets together on diwali day we will be traveling in august let's meet on sunday not the sunday but there are exceptions if you are talking about a date that is different from other dates which is unique for example i got back from hyderabad the sunday before holi now you are referring to a specific sunday before a particular day before holi that's why you will use the out here we will have a review on the first wednesday of every month a specific wednesday you are talking about so you will say the first wednesday <coughs> so i hope i've been able to give you a flavor of what articles are friends and how they are used and some of the exceptions so as a next step you will move on to the please move on to the second video on articles and we will solve some exercises together thank you and have a wonderful day